okay dear students so let us see what is there in this question wind of speed v flows through the wind generator the wind speed drops to v by 3 after passing through the blades what is the maximum possible efficiency of the generator fine so my dear students this is a very special question and there is a formula that i am going to give you and we are going to use that formulation in these kind of questions and i will specify what are these kind of questions okay in a couple of minutes so this thing is not easy like this this thing does not click to you just like just just like that you have to know this if you want to do this now the generator is something that is used to generate power so we have to first of all come into terms of power rather than the energy so what is the formula for the power in the case of the fluid now that's a million dollar question i would say there is no straightforward formula otherwise we know that uh, the formula is like power is equal to f into v but we are not going to use this instead of that we use a different formula that it is the change in the kinetic energy divided by time even that we can use because power is defined as the rate of doing work or rate of change in energy so we can use this formula and we are going to use this formula we are going to derive now so how are we going to do this now this can be taken as half m v square so for this time i am not uh, uh, using delta there i'm not getting I'm, I'm i'm not taking the difference between two powers i am just driving a general formula for the power so we can we can do it like that only so half m v square divided by t so what is that now half this becomes m by t into v square what is m by t m by t is the mass flowing per unit time because it is a turbine and the wind is flowing through it so we have to say that 5 kg of wind per second is passing through the uh, passing through the uh, wind blades so there is a rate of flow so we can't say that um, the mass is constant mass is not constant it is flowing so these kind of systems are known as open system okay and we know that open systems are not in our syllabus also but anyways this is the mass flow rate and mass flow rate is given by half rho a v where rho is the density of the fluid a is the area of cross section of the blades and v is the velocity with which it is moving instantaneously and we are multiplying it further with v square so overall our formula becomes half rho a v q now in this formula we will see like what is the power input so power input the fluid was moving with v so power input was this and this much is the velocity of the fluid when it comes out of uh, the uh, comes out of the turbine so i can say that this is the not power output i have to say this is the power waste state isn't it like that was not converted into the electricity by the turbine so that is why i will say that it is the power waste state so it has to be half rho a v by 3 cube so it will be 1 by 27 times the power input isn't it so 1 by 27th amount of the total power even that this power is now wasted or i can say the fluid has taken this power along with itself so what happened to the rest of the energy the rest of the power was converted by the generator into the electricity now what is the maximum possible efficiency so we take it like it has to be 100 percent. so we say that okay whatever is the gap of this energy is converted into electricity so what is delta p now delta p is this p if i call this as p minus this which is coming out to be p divided by 27 so delta p is coming out to be 26 by 27 p so this is the change in the energy the energy which is not present with the fluid now and that must be extracted out by the turbine so now we need to find the efficiencies so efficiency is defined as the power output divided by power input into 100 so p gets cancelled with p and 100 we can just remove it so our answer for this question is coming out to be 26 by t 